Heat-stressed corals, bleached of their brilliant colours, tell a story of an ecosystem in trouble. Australia's Great Barrier Reef has experienced another mass bleaching, its fourth in six years. It happens when warm water causes corals to expel the algae living inside that give them their vibrant colours. More worrying still is that this bleaching happened in a La Nina year, which usually brings cooler temperatures. But that didn't even give us the reprieve that we were hoping for. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be really scary over the coming years. The bleaching is being blamed on climate change and scientists say urgent action is needed to save the reef. Currently, UNESCO is assessing whether to move it onto an in danger list, something the Australian government has sought to avoid. However, today, young climate protesters gathered outside Prime Minister Scott Morrison's home, critical of his performance in tackling climate change. What I do wish for is a government that is not in denial and one that listens to the science and the people. These protests are part of a global climate strike, taking place in cities around the world, including here. We're striking today because it's so important to hear young people's voices on this issue because it's our future that's at stake when, as a result of the government's inaction on climate change. I feel like there is being progress made, but it's not fast enough. It's, not, it's urgent what we're facing now. In Antarctica, the complete collapse of an ice shelf the size of Rome due to unusually high temperatures has led one NASA scientist to warn that this may be a sign of things to come. Laura Fletcher, RTE News.